In this video, we will discuss interpleader. We'll look at interpleader in the federal courts, and here's a reminder, you should look at Federal Rule of Civil Procedure 22, and also a statute 28 U.S.C. 1335. But in general, interpleader means that a party that is facing competing claims can cause those other parties with the competing claims to litigate against each other in court. So let's say we have a bank that has some gold in its vaults. And Mr. Donald claims that the gold belongs to him, but Mr. Duck claims that the gold is his. The bank has a problem. If the bank gives the gold to Mr. Donald, the bank might be liable to Mr. Duck. But if the bank gives the gold to Mr. Duck, Mr. Donald will sue. Here comes the interpleader action. The bank will sue as an interpleader plaintiff against Mr. Donald and Mr. Duck as the interpleader defendants. Now the bank is asking a court to decide who owns the gold. The bank is saying, yes, we have possession of the gold, but the gold doesn't belong to the bank. And no matter what we do with this gold, we could face liability and claims from Mr. Donald and Mr. Duck. Now the bank can step back and let the interpleader defendants fight it out. Now it's up to Mr. Donald and Mr. Duck to prove who is the correct owner of the gold, and the bank will follow whatever the court decides. If you'd like to discuss interpleader or any other matter related to U.S. law, stop on my website and blog, and feel free to leave your comments below.